Right now I'm going on a date. I just wanted to sit down with you guys and have a little chit chat and you know just put you guys on into some things that I literally learned okay guys so I'm gonna be explaining to you guys things that I have learned in my 20s okay and things that you should avoid in your 20s so I definitely feel like in my 20s the things that I'm still learning is I'm learning to be alone and I'm learning that not everyone is gonna be there with you forever I'm not trying to sound negative, but you should have the mindset of like, whatever happens, I got myself, you know. If you see yourself as your best friend, as someone who's always there for you, life is going to be easy. It's that I'm learning to learn in my 20s is the fact that not everyone that you date, you're going to end up being together for the rest of your life. It is what it is. It is what it is. Such as not everyone you meet is gonna be your forever partner. Like I had to learn that the hard way because I'm literally such a like lover girl, you know, like I'm a relationship type of person. And in the past I thought that every dude that I was meeting they were gonna be my husband. No. Some people are just literally there to literally teach you a lesson and for you to learn. Like, every time you meet someone, I always ask yourself this question, okay, like, is this person here to teach me a positive lesson or a negative lesson? Because everyone is in your life for a reason at this moment, okay? So, and you have to be okay with people walking away, you know, from you. Like, I'm not telling you be okay in terms of, like, accepting. But, like, don't be surprised when you're not friends with the same girl that you was friends with on, you know, in 8th grade. Like, people grow. I'm to real, real, uh, What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But then I started to realize that everybody grow and everybody's dealing with, like, trying to find themselves. And also, things that I learned in my 20s, too, is also to, like, have a passion. Like, have a passion, like, find something that you truly like to do. And the reason I'm saying this is because it's very important for you to have a passion. Because when you have a passion, you're going to have, like, reason to leave. I, I don't know how to explain this to you guys, but, like, I love creating content. I love modeling. Like, I love doing pageants. Like, find something that you love, whether it's painting, playing video games. Find something that you like. Like you should, you should be having a, a habit. Okay, you should be having a habit. Like when people tell you what to, what you do for fun, don't say nothing. Like find something that you like to do. And also things I learned in my twenties too is that there is gonna be a toxic family. Like and for me, I'm not telling you to cut off your toxic family. But you kind of need to sometimes like distance yourself from like toxic family members, literally. I'm using my Dior um, Mac Matte Maximizer Serum Anti Age Delay. I'm not aging, but I really like this because I get really oily like throughout the day. So, as I mentioned before. On your 20s, you will need to cut off some people that are not bringing you peace, that are not helping you elevate. The reason why I'm saying this is because you kind of want peace in your 20s. Why? Because you need to focus. You're not, you're not 17 anymore where you don't know what you want. I mean, when I was 17, I knew I wanted to be an influencer. But like, you are at the age where you are an adult and whatever you do right now, it can affect your future. Literally, like whatever decision, whatever people you want to keep in your life right now, if they are negative, is going to affect your 30s, okay? The reason I'm telling you is because you need to be around people who only want to elevate you. You need people who are going to help you grow because, listen, if you have that one auntie in your family who is literally always like, Comparing you to other kids, judging you, and stuff like that, literally, 
cut off. Okay. When I say cut off, I don't mean like fire her. There you go. When I say cut her off, I don't mean like fire her. Nothing like that. I mean like don't be telling her your him or her your plans anymore. Like also in your twenties, you need to be private. Being private is something that I myself am fighting for my life. Literally fighting for my life because I'm the kind of person I like to vent to people. One thing I don't say to people is my plans. Like if I want to buy something, if I want to buy a house, I want to buy a camera, you're not going to know until I get it. The reason why is because it's not because people, I don't, I mean, people have evil eyes, right? But I don't really live 100% by that. But I believe that when you keep things on your head to yourself, it's much easier for you to accomplish because at least this way you're not having people expecting you to get things done. That makes any sense. Whatever you want to do, start doing now. Like, why are you waiting? Like, don't be this kind of people who are like 40, 30, be like, oh my gosh, I wish that in my 20s I did this and they had the opportunity. It's different when you don't have the opportunity, but like, don't be a 40 miserable person and start hating young people for living their dreams. Because that's what a lot of old people do. You don't want to be that. Okay? So... This is your 20s, you're still young, but you know, whatever decisions you make right now is going to affect the 30s, okay? And when it comes to dating situation, I literally feel like you are going to attract, literally, you're going to attract people that are toxic, if you are toxic. I wouldn't even lie to you, like, I remember when I was like, oh my... You know, when I was like 19 and stuff like that. Like, I, it's not like I like toxic, but like, I used to love to argue, you know, break up, blah, get back together, break up, blah, get back together. That's not cute. And again, you're going to attract men who are... I look crazy. Oh my gosh. I can't even... Can you guys even... Can you guys even take me serious with this makeup on? Like, be for real. As I was saying, you're going to attract men who are, like, not emotionally available because the fact that you're blocking them, you know, and they are okay with you, like, unblocking them every time, that means that they like that. That means they are childish because if you keep blocking me and unblocking me, Listen, you're not gonna last long in here, okay? So you need to you need you need to like respect yourself and set boundaries. On your twenties you need to set boundaries. I look crazy. How are you guys even taking me serious with this makeup on looking like this? But it's okay, I'm like a bad in a few per So in your twenties you need to set I don't know why these cars are driving by as if they don't know that I'm recording. So good. So, as I was saying, in your 20s, you kind of want to set boundaries. And you need to learn how to say no. Like, literally. You need to learn how to say no. If it's going to take too much of your time, no. If it's not really benefiting you that much, no. If you feel like someone is always coming to you for the same thing, no. And again, if you say no, if you say no and they get like really, really upset, that's how you know they're using you. Like, literally. In your 20s, live your life. Go out, you know, travel. Do whatever you want to do, you know, like, literally enjoy, live your life. Like, and also have your own experience. Cause I know people will be like, oh my gosh, you know, like I can't go to I can't go to this restaurant because they're racist. Like you don't know if the person that is saying that was literally thinks everyone is being racist towards them. So it's like again in your twenties you need to like literally travel, explore, you know, like have your own experience towards also on your twenties you need to have discipline. You need to have discipline. 
this, you need to have discipline in everything you do in life. Like, discipline goes with everything, like relationship, you know, friendship, everything. Discipline means like, when you know you're not supposed to be doing that, don't do it. I'm gonna give an example. If I know I'm supposed to be vlogging, but I'm like, nah, let me go out and drink with my friends, and I know how I get when I get drunk, no. I need to have discipline and tell myself, like, vlogging is more important than me going out with my friends and drinking. Because what is me going out with my friends drinking is gonna help me do, literally. And also in your 20s, you need to know what kind of friend you're gonna have, like, if you always have a very negative or supportive friend, cut her off. Cut him or her off because one thing about me, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to have negative people around me. Like I'm not, I, I do not tolerate unsupportive people in my life, period. Like if you're my friend, again, I'm not begging you to like, again, I'm not begging you to like, I always share my pictures, you know, like, comment. But if you know your friend is trying something, you should support that person naturally. I'm not saying every time, but you should support that person because a lot of people only support you whenever, like, whenever you're really out there. And that's not okay. Me, I don't... Mm -hmm. I don't tell away on supportive friends. I really don't. Like, I will cut you off. Also, if you're a female, literally, please, on your 20s, have some sort of class on your 20s, please. Like, I'm not, because I'm not judging you, but I'm telling you, okay? I'm telling you right now. Like, if you just met a guy, and a guy is like, hey, you know, like, I want to see you, and it's like the first time you're seeing each other, and he's he want to take you to his house, to Netflix and chill, no. Because once he do that, you're going to stay there. You're going to stay in that, in that, in that, like, box of, like, yeah, this is the girl that I just take it home to smash. This is the girl that I don't have to put effort. And I feel like that's where a lot of women don't get princess treatment. I mean, again, princess treatment comes from a guy that likes you. But at the same time, if you allowing a man to keep you, like, in his house every time, he don't take you out, you don't go on dates, you don't do nothing outside of his house, you're not, you, you are not a roach. You are not a roach or a rat from New York that needs to be kept in the house. No, you're not that, okay? And also, like, start having standards. Like, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know how to explain, but like, I get it that not everybody's financially okay. I'm not gonna sit here and not like, I'm always 100% financially okay. Like, listen, no, but I'm learning to be. And I feel like, I really think people will treat you based on what you give to them. Like, if you keep yourself very high, you know, like, let's say you love to take pictures, right? If your Instagram looks like an Instagram baddie, you know, if you look very classy, very put together, it's going to be hard for a man to come to you and be like, let me take you on a date to the movies. Like, it's gonna be really hard. The reason why I'm telling you this is because men will treat you based on what you tolerate and based on what they see on social media. And I'm not even lying, this is actually very true. Like, I remember this guy at my job, he was just like, oh, Nila, you know, like, I wanna get to know you, I wanna take you out, you know, but you look, you look very bougie and you look like you only do like, Five star restaurants. Now, I'm the kind of person that it's weird because I'm simple, but I'm also bougie too. I'm okay, I don't want to call myself bougie. I'm simple, but I have standards too. Like, I'm not gonna allow somebody to take me on a date 
to the movies. Like, our first day, the movie, first of all, I hate the movies, period. I don't know what it is about the movies, but I hate the movies. I just hate the movies. Like, why am I gonna dress up, looking cute, to go sit down and watch their movie? Like, no, I'm not doing that. At least it's like a nice red carpet type of thing, you know? But the guy, he was just like, you know, I'm gonna take you out, but you look very bougie. Um, you look like you only do five star restaurant. And I'm like, why you think that? He's like, oh, you know, because you always put together, you know, like your Instagram looks very classy. My Instagram don't even look that classy as I want it to be. As I want it to look. And again, I won't even lie to you. Like, ever since that day, that's when I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna present myself as a very high classy woman, elegant. Guys, don't don't listen. The reason why I'm telling you this is because what you what you allow and what you tolerate is how people will treat you. Like literally, like if you accept a man to take you, you on a first date and in his house, girl, please. And the next week you 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 ask him to go out to five star restaurant, he's gonna he won't even put effort. Like it's gonna be hard to, to find a man like that. He's not gonna put effort. Like, I won't even lie to you, like, you need to have, like, a high standard, you know? It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be easy. And also, you need to see what kind of friends you're hanging out with. Because if you, if you're hanging out with people that they be out here sleeping around, blah, blah, listen. We all, I mean, I don't want to say we all, but you know. I'm not, the past is the past. I don't know what kind of past you have. You don't know what kind of past I have. But I'm ready to change, you know. And the reason I'm telling you this is because if you want to be treated like a princess, you know, you want to get flowers often without you having to ask. Like, if you want to have a soft life, you want to have like a princess treatment you need to watch out who you, who you hang around with okay so guys that's it that's the end of the video i hope some of my advice really helped you guys and also you guys can leave any comments down below of like you know things to know in your 20s because i am still learning myself and thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe